We're going to learn base field line, and I'm going to collect some data by measuring how long it's going to take for me to construct one cube, two cube, three cube, four cube, and five cube. And I have the stopwatch, and I'll measure the time, and I'll put the time uh, over here. So, one cube. All right, so one cube, it takes me uh, 3.5 seconds. Two cube. We'll plot the graph. So we're going to call this one time in a second. We're going to call this one cube. Okay. So one cube, uh, one cube, two cube, three cube, four cube, and five cube. So uh, let's say one time is in second. Okay. So so far so good. Now. 3.5 second, 1 cube. So this is my 3, 3.5 over here, 3.5 second, 1 cube. So far, so good. 7 second, 2 cube. 7 second, I have 2 is here, 7 is here, I have, I have 7 second, 2 cube. Okay, more or less right there. Okay, I can do it um, this way just to get the better result uh, 7 and 2 7 and 2 so it's actually right here uh, ten, 10 and 3 so I have 10 <coughs> I have 10 and I have 3 so this line is not a base fit line because all the data points is above. This line is not also a base fit line because all the data points are below. So you have to draw a line, 50% of the data point are above and 50% of the data point are below. And that would be the base fit line. Okay, so let's see whether we can do that. So 50% of the data be below. So 50% below and 50% above. Okay, that's it. There you go. There you go. If uh, if the uh, if the ruler is stay like that, that would be great. Okay, good. So I have fifty percent of the data above. So fifty percent of the data, this data, and this data, we can say above, and this data, and this data is below. Okay, so this is more or less a base fit line. Now we want to find the slope y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1. Okay, so that's the slope. All right, so y2 can we use two points from here, this point and this point? No, absolutely not. We cannot use the point that coming from the table we have to use the point comes from the line. Okay, good. So, now how can we do that? Um, so, let's see. I'm sure we can find at least two points. Um, what about this point? This is a good point. This point, we're going to use this point this point this point would be 3 so this is 3 comma 1 okay this point is 7 and 2 so this point is 7 this point is 7 and 2 and this point is 3 and 1 okay so we got it so now our this is our x1 y1 this is our x2 y2 y2 is 2 y1 is 1 x2 is 7 and x1 is 3. So m is 1 over 4. So m is 0 0.25. So now I have to write the unit. So what would be the unit of the m? And that would be the cube over second. Okay. 
that means you can draw one cube in four seconds that is what it means. You can make one cube in four seconds more or less that is what it means. Okay. If that is the case what can you do with this law? In one minute how many cube you can make? So, you can use the slope problem number 1 0 0.25 cube and then second times 60 second. Second second cancel you have 0 0.25 times 60 and that would be a um, cube uh, that would be 15 cubes. In one minute you can uh, one minute you can make 15 cubes. All right, problem number 2 100 cubes take how many seconds? 100 cubes takes how much second? Okay, so you have 1 second you can draw 0 0.25 cubes and you want to draw 100 cubes. cubes cubes cancel 100 divided by 25 0 0.25 second and that would be 400 second and that makes sense 1 cube 4 second 100 cube 400 second all right so these are the thing you can do with the slope all right this was by hand i will learn how to do the base fit now we're going to learn how to do it by linear regression using TA 84. We are going to do the linear regression by using TA 84. So, let us get started. Uh, so, you have mass which is x axis and you have y weight which is y axis. So, let us go over that. So, you have x which is mass and you have weight um, which is y. The last time we had the last time we had time and cube and we call it cube over time and there was no name for the slope and this is just the unit for the slope. However, there will be a name for the slope weight and mass has a name and when you have weight over mass and this is slope and this slope has a name and that is acceleration. Why is that? That comes from Newton's second law F equal m a F for force m for mass a for acceleration. So, if you isolate a you get F over m and since force is equal to weight then acceleration is weight over mass. Okay. Now, these are the data and we know the acceleration. So, we have <coughs> we, um, we have a uh, acceleration earth and moon acceleration due to gravity here on the earth is 9.8 uh, acceleration is meter per second square and on the moon 1.6. Now, we are going to use the TA 84 to find the slope to figure out whether we are on the earth or we are on the moon. So, let us do it. The first you are going to take your TA 84 calculator and then you are going to press the stat. Once you press the stat and then edit enter and there will be a table and then you are going to write 0 type 0 and then hit enter and then you are going to type 14 and then hit enter and you are going to type 20 and hit enter and you are going to type 25 and hit enter and you are going to type 29 and enter and you are going to write 34 and enter. So, you have all the data for the x axis and that would be the mass. Now, you are going to have to write the weight. So, weight you are going to go to the other side by uh, tapping this one. 
all right now you're ready to type the weight so first one is 0 and then you press then the second one is 21 and then you press 21 and the third one is 32 and then you press 32 and the fourth one is 35 and then you press 35 and the fifth one is 49 and then you press 49 and then uh, the last one is 58 and then you enter 58 okay so this are the all the data and now you're going to go to the stat again all right stat and then you're going to go to the calculation so tap the tap the one on the right calculation and then you're going to go to the linear regression the fourth one linear regression linear regression so once you are on the linear regression then hit enter once you hit the enter then you again go to the calculate so go down to all the way to the calculate and then enter and then it's going to give you the slope and the slope is as you see 1.6 so 1.6 so you are on the one so acceleration is 1.6 meter per second square and that's definitely not earth because that's the close to one.